The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. If you're heading up on the parkway this weekend to check out the fall foliage, unfortunately, your past peak along the West Slopes and also in the Highlands, you're getting pretty close to being past peak along the Blue Ridge Parkway. You're right at peak in parts of the Roanoke Valley. Lynchburg South Side, you're near peak. There's actually a little more color right now the further east you go than the further west. It's almost looking like winter right now out along the west slopes of West Virginia, while we certainly have a little more color out across Lynchburg, Danville, Martinsville, and South Boston than what you're seeing in Pocahontas and in Greenbrier counties in West Virginia. All right, here's a look at the satellite and radar composite, and you'll notice here regionally the closest rain showers to us are in eastern North Carolina. Those are going to stay away from us. However, those rain showers are throwing a little bit of cloud cover in our direction. Direction. A little more cloud cover today as anticipated in comparison to what we had outside yesterday, but still is a pretty nice day to be outside. Saturday, we're looking at a nice mix of clouds and sunshine. We're slightly warmer on Saturday. Then as we head into the day Sunday, we're going to have mainly cloudy skies. Okay, Sunday is going to be a pretty overcast day. And there could be a couple of showers pushing in after about 3, 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon, but the best chance for rain Sunday will come after the sun goes down. So Sunday evening, Sunday night into Monday, Halloween, that's our best chance for rain as this low pressure system comes at us from the south and west. Let's talk about race forecast uh, for the uh, big races going on in Martinsville this weekend. We've got the Xfinity race going on Saturday afternoon. Temperatures lower 60s for, for that race. We're going to stay dry, even though we could be mainly cloudy. Sunday 2 p.m., we've got the NASCAR Cup Series race. Temperatures right around 60 going to be pretty cloudy for that race, and there could be a stray shower or two later in the day, but I think the race will likely start dry in Henry County. Temperatures right now 56 in uh, Withville, also 56 in Blacksburg, 62 Roanoke, 60 Lynchburg, 59 Martinsville. It's also 59 in Lexington, a little bit cooler up towards Hot Springs. Let's go zone by zone for tomorrow. Highs in the NRV around 59, 60 in the Highlands, 62 across the Roanoke Valley zone. You're around 63 to 65 in the Lynchburg and South Side zone. So you're going to be a touch warmer tomorrow out east, a little bit cooler out west. And again, tomorrow we're going to see some breaks of sunshine, but overall the trend will be for about the next 24 to 48 hours for those clouds to continue to be on the increase. So after some cooler days this weekend because of the wedge being in play, by next week, especially by the middle part of next week, temperatures skyrocket. So we're going to be much warmer as we head in the next week in comparison to what we're going to have outside this weekend. For tonight, going to be mainly cloudy, going to be chilly. Overnight lows tonight anywhere between roughly 42 and 49 degrees. For tomorrow, we're slightly warmer. Looking at high temperatures tomorrow, uh, likely in the uh, 50s and 60s. Okay, so temperatures today made it up into the 50s and lower 60s, maybe a degree or two warmer tomorrow. Here we go. Extended forecast, cooler Sunday. And then we start to warm things back up as we head into the uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame. Looks like we'll have highs anywhere between about 70 and 73 from Tuesday through Friday. We're going to have maybe a slight chance for a shower Tuesday, Wednesday with a better chance perhaps for a couple more showers by next Thursday. John.